there even a lot of flowers isn't it so today we are going to explore about parts of flowers without wasting any time let's get started so our group helianthus with the team members shruti vibisha anamika arya vijay and myself angelina will explain the parts of flowers for you stamen the male reproductive part of a flower in all but a few extent angiosperms the stamen consists of a long slender stalk the filament with a lobed anther at the tip small secretory structures called nectaries are often found at the base of the stamens they provide food rewards for insects and bird pollinators all the stamens of a flower are collectively called the androecium filament the filament is the long cylindrical tendril part of the stamen the function of the filament is simply to hold up the anther extending it up to an accessible part of the flower for for pollinators reach the filament is a stalk like structure that attaches to the base of the uh, flower and supports the anther anther the fertile portion of stamen is called anther each anther is usually made up of two lobes connected by a connective in turn each anther lobe contain two pollen chambers placed longitudinally all pollen grains of an anther lobe remain united in a sac called pollinators pistil pistil is known as the female reproductive part of a flower the pistil is generally located typically on the constant of the pollen base of the ovary which consists of potential seed or the ovules or the stalk or the style arising from the ovary on the pollen respectively on the tip of the stigma on the various shaped and often stickly pistil is usually located in the center of the flower and it is made up of three parts the stigma the style and the ovary stigma in a flower this landing zone and entrance is the stigma it plays a pivotal role in reproduction most stigmas are adapted to trap pollen with hairs flaps and other surfaces to increase their efficiency most stigmas are covered with waxy sticky substances style the style of a flower is a stalk that supports the stigma and connects it to the ovary one major function of this style is to assist with fertilization by being the location where pollen tubes travel to deliver sperm cells to the egg ovary ovary in botany enlarged basal portion of the pistil the female organ of a flower the ovary contains ovules which develop into seeds upon fertilization the ovary itself will mature into a fruit either dry or fleshy enclosing the seed petals petals are modified leaves that surround the reproductive part of a flower together all of the petals of a flower are called corolla petals are usually accompanied by another set of special leaf like structure called sepals that collectively form calyx and lies just beneath the corolla thanks for watching till the end i think this video was helpful for you guys so have a glorious day ahead